Welcome to the five minute module series on food preservation. Thanks for tuning in to the Crunch Time Pickling 101 module. I am Megan Baumler, recording for Suzanne Dreesen, University of Minnesota Extension food safety educator. Crunch is the sound you should hear when you bite into a pickle or a pickled product. In this module, you will learn how to make the perfect pickle and what causes a soft, shriveled, and tasteless pickle. Preserved pickled products are either fermented in a salt brine or packed in a vinegar brine. Adding an acid like vinegar to a low acid food like cucumbers increases acidity levels so that microbes can't grow. The amount of acid added is very important to the safety of the product and to get the right pickled flavor, that tangy flavor we all love. So never alter the proportions of vinegar, food, or water in a recipe and use only tested recipes. In the most current recipes, you will find a one-to-one -one ratio of water to vinegar for the brine. Process jarred pickled products in a boiling water canner according to recipe directions. Processing is also important to destroy any acid-tolerant bacteria and to form a good, tight seal. Quality and fresh ingredients matter. Use cucumbers designed for pickling and not slicing varieties. Don't use the wax-coated cucumbers. The brine won't penetrate through the wax coating. Pickle within 24 hours of harvest. Soft water is best for pickling, but an acceptable alter alternative is distilled water. Hard water causes a cloudy brine and the minerals cause changes in the flavor. Use white vinegar with 5% acidity for the vinegar brine. Make a brine according to your recipe. Usually a 1 to 1 water to vinegar ratio is used. Use canning salt as table salt contains fillers which cause a cloudy product and flavor changes. Buy and use fresh whole spices. If using fresh dill, use the whole head or substitute one to two tablespoons dill seed or two tablespoons of dill weed. To make fresh packed dill pickles, first wash under running water using a vegetable brush or clean soft cloth to remove dirt. Next, cut 1 16th of an inch from the blossom or bottom end to remove natural enzymes that cause the pickle to become soft. Pour a salt water solution of 3 quarters cup of salt to 2 gallons of water over the cucumbers. Let stand for 12 hours. Drain. Find this recipe on our website, extension.umn.edu, and search Making Fresh Pack Pickles. Here are some standards for all pickled products. Allow one half inch headspace. Headspace is the unfilled space above the food or liquid in a jar and below its lid. Use the same size and shape so each pickled item has the same flavor. Make sure the liquid brine covers the product. There shouldn't be any pieces floating in the jar. The pickled product should be plump and not shriveled. Want to take your pickled product to the fair? The National Center for Home Food Preservation has sample score sheets that judges use as safety and quality standards on its website. What if you didn't meet the pickling standards? Learn from your mistakes and try, try again. A shriveled pickle happens for reasons, including overcooking, like in bread and butter pickles, overprocessing, or using a vinegar or salt solution too strong, which sucks up the juice inside the pickle. Soft and slippery pickle problems are caused by not processing properly, not removing the blossom end, or using old or moldy ingredients. If spoilage is evident, do not eat the product. Prevent these errors by following a reliable recipe. Use vinegar of at least 5% acidity, slice at least 1 16th of an inch off the blossom end to remove natural enzymes, use soft water and fresh spices for the perfect pickle. Crunch is the sound you should hear when you bite into a pickle or pickled product. Thanks for watching.